So welcome to the first module for this week, understanding a digital culture. So we need to come to some shared understanding of what we mean by digital culture. Now, there are a range of different aspects of this, but essentially it's often in comparison to previous cultures. We had a print-based culture in the 19th century. In the 20th century, we saw a broadcast culture dominated by radio and television. And now we've moved into another type of culture where it's not so much broadcast, it's using the facilities of digital technologies, particularly network technologies, to enable a different expression of culture. And we're going to explore what that means in this course. So there are a number of key readings for you to have a look at. They frame different concepts around digital culture and give you some insight into the different possibilities that we can explore around how a digital culture can impact upon education. So have a look at some of the readings. Again, you don't need to go through all of them in great depth, but certainly I'd like you to have a, a brief look at them and see if there's any aspects in there that capture your interest and explore those <coughs> in greater depth. Now, then I'd like you to share some of the key words that come to mind when you think about digital culture. And we're going to build a little word cloud of your collective thoughts around digital culture. You can share a number of keywords, but share them individually, um, one at a time, so that it builds up a word picture, a word cloud of the different aspects of digital culture that you're thinking about. Now, then we're going to look at some of the characteristics that define digital culture. Now, I've selected four key ones. There are others. Some of the readings will explore various other aspects, and you may have other aspects you wish to bring to our discussions in the tutorials as well. But four I'd like you to explore are interactivity, connectivity, digital citizenship, and the idea of innovation and adaptability being central requirement of today's digital culture. So again, each of these have some readings associated with them for you to delve into the concepts in greater depth. I'll provide brief summaries, but think about these four elements, these four characteristics that frame digital culture. Now, I've given you a little quiz to do that just gets you thinking about some of these concepts and also helps you unpack some of the readings. And then there are two case studies associated with education that will help you explore these characteristics and the concept of digital culture in some greater depth. The first is looking at the phenomenon of online education during the pandemic and how that was an expression of digital culture as it impacted upon education. And the second case study looks at the development of online learning platforms, particularly the open source or more community oriented uh, platforms rather than the institutional platforms for, of universities and schools. And the impact that that is happening, sorry, that is having on digital culture or culture more broadly. So look at those different case studies, the characteristics of digital culture, and the readings that help you unpack your understanding of digital culture. And then in teams, share a learning activity that is reliant upon an educational technology. And how does the use of that learning, learning activity and um, technology frame digital culture? What are some of the ethical considerations that need to be taken into account in the use of that technology? And try to extrapolate into the future. What will the world be like if that technology is used much more widely, particularly in education? 
and what might be some of the ethical and social and cultural impacts of the use of that technology in a more comprehensive way. So share those ideas into teams in the week one section and then move on to your second module for this week.